Hello, I'm Garth Delican from the development team at City College Peterborough, bringing you one of my regular tips now to stay positive and motivated. Now today, I'd like to talk to you about our old friend, worry. And have you noticed that some people can cruise through life, they don't seem to have a worry in the world and nothing seems to faze them. Some people worry a little bit and other people seem to be worried all the time. And other people get so worried, they worry about being worried. Now clearly, worry is a cause for concern, but worry is a thankless paymaster. There is no payback for it. And the more you get worried, the more you get anxious, you get more stressed, you can get depressed, and anxiety and worry can make you feel really, really tired. So clearly, you need to have some uh, some things in place to help you to be able to deal with your worry. So I'm going to give you five of my best tips to actually deal with any worry in your life. And I've done this with hundreds of people and they do work. So I'm going to give you five tips. Pick one or two that resonate with you and give them a go. So number one is to try to give yourself a designated worry time. I know that sounds strange, but try and pick a time every day where you're saying to yourself, I'm going to spend five minutes today and I'm going to worry. I'm going to really worry for five minutes. I'm going to worry about everything in my life for five minutes or even 10 minutes. And once I've done that, I'm going to put it to one side and go on with my day. As strange as it seems, having a designated worry time can really, really work. You can actually turn it into a fun exercise. And number two is to try and kick your online addiction. Constantly going on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, for some weird reason, that has a, it has a strange kickback and it can make you feel anxious because you're trying to compare your life to other people's lives online and that can really cause anxiety and worry and stress. And number three, try to be mindful. In previous video, uh, videos, I've talked to you about breathing and just staring out into space and just being at peace within yourself. Try to find five minutes a day where you can be mindful and just cut yourself off from those thoughts. And number four, if none of that works, just accept your worry and move on. Say, okay, I'm worried. There's nothing I can do about it at the moment, but I'm going to move on. That's it. Just accept it. It can be as simple as that. Number five, this is a really good one. Write your worries down. Sometimes by taking them out of your head and putting them on paper, it really, really has a positive effect and clears your mind from worry. Another good tip that I found is that if you actually say your worries out loud and then talk back to yourself and give yourself a positive reason uh, why that worry might not happen, that has a really massive effect and that can really dampen down that worry and bring it down. So give that a try. I really recommend that one. And finally, I'd just like to leave you with a thought. 99.9% .9 of your worries are all future based and it's your mind imagining the worst thing that can possibly happen in your life. But 99.9% .9 of the time, it never ever happens. So on that sobering thought, be safe and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you.